صلوا على محمد وعلى محمد Before I begin, I would like to say Salaam Alaikum sisters and I want to congratulate on the auspicious occasion of Mawlid al-Zahra alayhi salam. Truly, uh, it is a blessing to honor her birth for it is not an ordinary birth. We have um, a whole list of narrations as to how she came about and who is she and why is she such a magnificent lady for she's not an ordinary one. She was made purely from the light of heaven and the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereby we hear the narrations Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I created you because I created Imam Ali, and I created Imam Ali because I created you, and I did not create you two unless it was because I created Fatima to Sahara alayhi salam. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad. So I'll be taking you between two events. One is going to be starting off in the heavens and in the, the entirety of God's creation. And then we're going to enter the mind of Sayyidatul Zahra alayhi salam. And then we're going to go back and see what is the response of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's angels. So it's going to start. A rose from heaven sent, whom the Prophet loved this scent, called this rose the apple of my eye, I am her and she is I. Four angelic ladies went to her mother for comfort. A call is then heard, Fatima, come forth. Born in the state of prostration, from day one feeling the Lord's sensation. They line up his four ladies, but one is grander. And on that day, Allah will grant her the power to enter heaven, yet she'll turn around and save women and men. Go to her state of mind and examine what a mind. While the world is asleep, not a sound is heard. She wakes up slowly so she doesn't disturb her children in the cold night. As she stands be to pray before daylight, praises, praises of Allah she recites. My Lord, all praises is to you from beginning to end. Sends blessings upon your beloved Muhammad and his descent. I stand here in front of you, awaken, that you may bestow enlightenment and awaken the heedlessness of our souls and minds. I may stand here long, but I don't mind. The nation needs me, I'm a leader. Guide them to the right path and respect for mothers. I pray for the safety of orphans, poor to become wealthy. I pray that my neighbor is satisfied and happy. I pray that soon my son will lead a nation to the state of perfection and salvation. The peak of dawn she sees, then again ablution she adorns, while heavens are in a stir as to what happened, they wonder. As though the heavens became blinded by light, while the angels looked down toward earth to see what caused this light. The angels of Allah ask, O oh Allah, the universe is in your hand. We ask, who is this lady that stands and prays for all others while leaving herself last, even prays for events that have not come to pass? Allah replies, angels, I've created you from light. But this lady I've created from my light, I've made her my heaven on earth, and I've named her a name to protect her worth. She is the reason of creation and the rise of a perfect nation. I've made my angels serve her and gave her a status unlike any other. Her veil protects her and my divine law. Angel sends your blessings upon Fatima to Zahra. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. The Lady of Light hears the conversation. She prays morning prayer and stays in prostration, raises her head and says, Thank you, Allah, for such glory. And I pray I stay on your way and as an example for all of history. The world is awakened and bright, not knowing of what happened in the night, that the earth and heaven were lit by Fatima to Zahra's light, while the day goes unaware of a rose that is so rare, that truly she is a rose from heaven sent, whom the Prophet loved this scent, who left the universe in awe, this rose is none other than Fatima to Zahra. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah,
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته